Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most amazing day ever. This is your first time on my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. Honey, listen, I do tea videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who's going to spill the tea on everything pop culture, reality TV, influencer tea, honey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now listen, we have some sports breaking news. Now bitch, I don't know anything about sports, all right? All I know about sports is like the halftime show in the Super Bowl, which we need Britney Spears to do the next uh, halftime show. But that's another story. All right. Now, listen, um, I'm going to be getting I mean, I wore this sporty kind of look just to see if like the sporty spice in me could come out. And and I'm going to I'm going to discuss the Jake Paul situation because. Um, OK, so listen, alleged or uh, apparently right. He was supposed to, first of all, he was supposed to fight in Madison Square Garden, bitch. I mean, I mean, damn. Like, Jake Paul, like, damn, right? I mean, he made it to fucking Madison Square Garden. That's, like, a huge honor, right? But, okay, so listen. We are going to dissect this article. Like I said, I don't know how many touchdowns Jake has done. I don't know how many hole-in-ones he has done. Olympic gold medal. I don't know. I know he fights or something like that. But all I know is that the fight is canceled, bitch. All right, the fight is no more. So it says here, Jake's Paul boxing match against Hasim Rahman has been canceled according to the Problem Child's boxing promotion after the 12-1 fighter allegedly failed to meet contractual obligations tied to his weight. So apparently he was not, he, he didn't like fit with the weight requirements so, okay, um, it says here, um, Jake Paul says, First Tommy fumbled, and now Hasten uh, crumbled. I don't know if those are wrestling terms, but I really, really want to try those crumble cookies. Uh, there's none in LA. If anybody wants to hook me up, let me know. So these boxers, oh, boxers. Oh, I wonder if they were tight boxers. <laughs> these boxers are the most difficult people to work with and continually lack professionalism and confidence to fight me i apologize to all of the all of the of the other fighters girl i'm just reading what he's right on the card our partners our team and the fans so it says here that it all has to do with the weight of hasim who previously fought a heavyweight weighing more than 260 for the fight with jake agreed to weigh a maximum of 200 pounds at wayne's a day before fight however M MBB says Raman Jr. was obligated to show the New York State Athletic Commission's officials he was losing weight in the lead up to the fight. In the effort, in the effort, girl, this lip gloss itches. Is oh, it's a plumper. I was like, what is happening? Um, so it says was obligated to show the New York State Commission he was losing weight in lead up to the fight in an effort to prevent a big weight cut in attempt to make two hundred pounds. Apparently, girl, he could not lose weight enough. So he was still not in, under 260. Well, Jake Paul had a lot to say. Let's listen to him talk. But first of all, I got to say, damn. I mean, he made it to damn Madison Square Garden. So this is what he said. Um, we're we're going to dissect it. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Emergency press conference. You may have seen the news. Hasim Rockman Jr. has pulled out of the fight. This is not a joke. I am devastated. I cannot fucking believe this. We just found out this news. And this is just another case of a professional boxer, just like Tommy Fury, being scared to fight me. It's as clear as day that these guys have been so unprofessional to work with, looking for any excuse to suck more money out of this event, to, to coerce us into doing things. And from the jump, I knew in the bottom of my heart that this guy didn't want to get into the ring with me. It's as clear as day. Here's what happened. Long story short. Please short. So he signed a contract to fight me at 200 pounds and was going to cut the weight down to 200 pounds. This is not a big cut for him, right? He's a big guy with a ton of weight to lose. So he sent a video to the commission the first time he weighed in at 216 pounds. The commission wanted to track his weight cut to make sure he was doing it in a healthy way. Three weeks later, the commission asked him for an update on his weight. He sends a video weighing 215 pounds, meaning in three weeks, he only lost one pound. So the commission was like, hey, man, you're not cutting the weight properly. We don't want you to lose it all in the last day. We're going to have to change this fight 
to 205 pounds. My team calls me up. They're like, hey, man, what, you want to change the, they want to change the weight to 205 pounds. That's a big difference. You normally fight at 190 pounds. Do you want to do the fight still? I said, no problem. Let's do it. 205 pounds. He's gonna have, he already has a weight advantage, height advantage, reach advantage, all of these things. But whatever. I know I can still beat his ass at 205 pounds. What's happening? And that was that. We move forward. And then today, out of nowhere, his team calls and says, Hasim is not going lower than 215 pounds. If the fight's not at 215 pounds, then we're pulling out. My manager goes, fuck you guys. You're not in control of this. We already agreed to five more pounds. He is a big guy, losing 10 pounds. Everyone knows in the sport of boxing that is an easy weight cut. People do that. UFC champions cut 25 pounds overnight to make weight. What? A 10-pound weight How? cut heavyweight is nothing. This is clearly an excuse. How? So say, okay, the fight's not at 215, we're out. The biggest payday of his life times 10. And he's fumbling it. For what? Because he knows he's going to get knocked out by me. The pressure starts to set in. And it's exactly what happens with all of these guys. Same shit with Tommy Fury. I'm sick of it. I'm devastated. I apologize to everyone on the undercard. Amanda Serrano, I know you were working hard. Ashton Silva, I know you were working hard. This is absurd. There's nothing I can do about it. I apologize to the fans. And uh, I'll be back at some point. First of all, hang on. Hang on one second, bitch. Are you telling me that all I have to do is go and become one of these little fighters and I can lose 25 pounds overnight? I need to know. First of all, I don't give a damn about this fight being canceled. I need to know their secret, bitch, because I mean, keto's not working for me. Uh, intermittent fasting makes me dizzy. Like, I want to know how they're doing it overnight, bitch, because I mean, damn, you know, like he said 25 pounds overnight to make it to the ring. I, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, you know, Chrissy Paul, all the Pauls. I mean, they're like, they seem like they're like 500 and it's only two of them. Um, it sucks, you know, I guess that they had a fight like in a couple of days. And then, you know, if somebody agreed to, to go a goal, like wait, you know, they have to fucking stick to it. You know, I, I just feel like it's stupid. And I mean, this man has had so much time to lose weight. He had to be at 205. They agreed They, you know, I, oh my God, I feel like such like a, a straight sports guy. Like, yeah, you know, like Jake Pond and, and Hasim agreed, man. And he said he was going to be like. First of all, he said 200. Then they went to 205. And Jake Paul and his team said, sure, yeah, 205 works for us. And then, you know, because he normally fights 190. And then what happened is the day before the fight, boom, shakalaka. He's not going to lose any weight. And he's going to stay at 215. And he won't fight Jake Paul to 215. So he has the height advantage. He has the weight advantage. He has all the advantages. And what does Jake Paul have? He has Tana Mojo, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, bitch. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but I had fun. I need to know their secret about losing 25 pounds overnight, bitch, because I've been trying to lose this 50 pounds. I need to lose 50 pounds, bitch. So if I could do 25 per night, honey, by Monday, bitch, I will be damn beautiful, bitch. Anyways, what do you guys think? Are you sad that you're not going to see this fight? I'm super impressed that he's even in fucking Madison Square Garden, bitch. Like... Good for him, man. Good for him, right? Anyways, I love you all so much. This was such a fucking mess. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And always remember, sporty spies all the way. Let's hopeful, you know, the, the halftime show, Brittany 2023. She's coming. Yeah, yeah. I love you all so much. And I, I gotta go because this is just too much for me. Bye, guys.